Hi guys, it's Chili Amar with The Carson Show on Mix 107.3. I'm at the Virginia Hospital Center right now waiting for my appointment for my very first mammogram. I'm 36 years old and about six months ago my gynecologist said it would probably be a good idea to get tested and get a baseline test. And I've put it off for six months because I'm scared and I'm anxious and I really don't know what to expect. I hope that you guys, if you haven't been screened already, do so. And perhaps after watching this video and sharing my experience with me, you'll be encouraged. They always say you should maybe bring a friend or a relative if you're nervous and scared. I decided to bring all of you with me. So let's go. Wow, I mean, so far this has been pretty cool. I mean, my anxiety level is reducing. I am now in here, just about to go in, and they only gave me just a couple of sheets to fill out. One is a consent to have them do the exam, and the other one's consent to have them send the results to my physician. So, two pieces of paper, a couple of signatures, that's all. Patient Amar. All right, guys, I've got on the test uniform, and I'm ready for my first mammogram. Let's go in here and see what it's all about. Come on. Hi, Miss Amar. How are you? Hi, I'm okay. Well, I'm a little nervous, if I'm being honest, because oh. I don't know what to expect right now. Try not to be nervous. Okay. You know, every but one that comes in for the first time, mammogram, are usually a little nervous, but it, you're going to get through it. I'm going to walk you through everything, and you'll be just fine. Okay, but be really good to my girls, Thelma and Louise. Oh, don't worry. We'll take care of the girls. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm ready to walk up to that thing. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's get started. Oh, let's do it. Uh, yeah, um, this part of the exam, you're gonna have to wait outside. Sorry. All right, it's done. I did it. I had my first mammogram. Painful? No. Discomfort? Yes. But it only lasted a few seconds. And now I'm ready to find out what they found. Let's go. So here we are, the moment of truth. I'm about to walk into this room and find out if there's anything suspicious or of concern. Whew, let's go. So, wait a minute. Are those, are those, is that me? That's you. That's Thelma and Louise? They look beautiful. So what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at a standard uh, mammogram. It's done in two views. Uh, it's a CC view. This is what the breast looks like as if you were looking from above. And then the ML view is sort of a lateral view as if you're looking at it sideways. We kind of just, look through it in detail and looking for anything that looks abnormal. Um, so you're saying I'm clean, everything's okay? It looks good. Yay, it looks good! That's the news I wanted to hear. I'm clean, everything's okay. And, I mean, I know it goes without saying, but my anxiety level right now, zero. What are some of the reasons that people don't get a mammogram, even when they're at 40, or even when they have family history and it seems so obvious to do so? Sometimes patients are scared. They might think that it hurts. They may be scared that if we look for something wrong, we might find something wrong. Um, and then I think another factor is we all lead very busy lives, and it's very easy for, for women, particularly mothers, to put themselves at the bottom of the priority scale, take care of everybody else, and then all of a sudden, you know, a couple of years have gone by and they haven't had a mammogram. So doctor, if women listened, and started getting their mammogram at 40 or if they have a family history at 35. How many percent of those women could potentially have it taken care of and not have an issue? Well, I think the answer to that question would be a very high percentage. Having a mammogram and seeing a doctor once a year will not prevent you from getting breast cancer. However, it will enable us to find it at an earlier stage so that you potentially will not die from it, which is really what we're trying to do. So if patients did have a mammogram every year after 40 and see their physician every year, we could potentially lower the death rate for breast cancer. Well, I'm done and I'm in a totally different state of mind now than I was before. I feel much better. The process here at Virginia Hospital Center for my first mammogram was easy, fast, and now I have peace of mind. I'd like to encourage all of you right now just to take a few moments and explore this page. There are four key components for a complete breast screening and they're on the page for you. I also want you guys to email me and share your personal experience with your mammogram. You guys were here for me today, and I'd love to be there for you. Mix 107.3.
107.3.